start where you are. The concept for this class came to me in a conversation that I had last week with a friend of mine who started a podcast inspired by creating connections during the quarantine. It's called Start From Within, and the podcast that I'm interviewed on just dropped today, so it was a pretty neat experience all in all. The name of the podcast, Start From Within, is uh, because Allison was like, where else do you start from, right? And often, starting from within is a confusing thing. Uh, if asked, connect to your core, your center, your truest self, I often freeze. Uh, not quite sure what that means. <laughs> I'm still figuring it out. But what I've come to learn and appreciate about being human is I can't wait for the perfect. I can't wait for an invitation necessarily. Sometimes you just need to show up however that looks. And that's the beauty of a home practice to some degree. It's not ideal, it's not a studio, it doesn't necessarily always smell good or uh, you have the encouragement of a student next to you, but you don't have to do much to show up. There's no traffic holding you up. There's not a, not a, not a, a really good reason not to just unroll your mat and be where you are. <laughs> so, uh, so just be where you are and uh, we'll feel our way into the moment, right? Just start, just start here, start here. Start, start with this breath, breathe in. And then this exhale out. And then again, breathe in. And exhale out. And then just do that a few more times. Breathing your own breath in and breathing your own breath out. And if you become distracted by the noises in your room or the other people who inhabit the space with you or pets, then, then allow yourself to be distracted and then you just start, start again. And again, just let it be this breath and that exhale. And again, inhale and exhale. Let's all meet in a tabletop pose. If you are on your spine, then gently roll yourself up to all fours. If you are in child's pose, then press yourself up to tabletop. And then just again, connecting to that idea of just this breath, allow yourself to roll through a few cat cows. So the inhale, you'll drop the belly. And the exhale, you'll round the back and tuck the chin. And again, inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, round and tuck. And again, inhale, dropping the belly. And round and tuck the chin. Let's pause here and cat. Walk your hands towards your knees. Create an arch with the back. Create an arch with the palms. The fingertips stay down, but the palms lift up. Allow the shoulders to melt away from the spine and any cranky spaces from the weekend, from the morning, just invite them to fall away. Breathe a deeper breath in here. And then gently lower the left palm right below the nose palm, knees, tripod. That's for stability. Inhale, reach the right arm up and then dive the right arm underneath and through, threading the needle. Option here for a little balance challenge. You can take the left leg back. I like to keep the ball joint on the floor for a little feedback. Nice. 
If the left leg is lifted, drop it back to the mat. Inhale, reach the right arm towards the sky. Right palm replaces left. The in-breath carries the left arm, the left ribs up. And dive that left arm underneath and through. Right arm forward, right leg back is an option. Breathe in and breathe out. And remembering the best place to start, again, is not a place of perfection. It might not even be a place of preparation. Sometimes you just need to begin. So if you come across something that feels awkward, acknowledge that it might feel awkward, inhale, unwind, and let it be awkward and let yourself know that you're just learning. Palms down, begin to curl the toes under, hover the knees off the ground uh, about an inch or so. And then as you're pressing through the palms, drop the hips towards the heels a little more so you're almost like in a crouch. Keep pressing the palms into the ground Keep the navel pulled towards the spine, and on an inhale, extend to high plank. And then exhale, come back to crouch, high plank, come back and crouch, high plank. Let's do two more, and exhale forward, come back, one more, high plank, stay here, breathe in. Exhale, lower yourself all the way down. Feel the energy in the legs and in the belly as you rest on the mat, palms pressed down. Uncurl the toes and lift the heart and the shoulders up and back. And release. Come back through child's pose. Interlace the hands at the low back. If you need a strap, use it. Roll onto the crown of the head and release any tension or pressure or doubts. And then lower the hips, bring the hands back to the ground. Know you can come back to child's pose at any point in your practice. Otherwise, we're gonna lift ourselves up and back, down, down. Breathe in, breathe out. On an inhale, lift the heels up, bend the knees. Exhale to the top of the mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach the arms nice and tall. Take a side bend to the right. Inhale through the middle, take it to the left. Inhale through the center. Exhale, fold forward, empty out. Inhale, lift halfway. Plant the hands, high plank pose, breathe in. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then inhale, float the right leg towards the sky. As you exhale, draw the knee to the nose. Look between the hands and step the right foot forward. Coming into a low lunge, if you can, float that right or that left leg off the ground. Right palm comes outside the right foot. Maybe the whole hand's on the ground. Maybe you have a block that might feel good for you. Maybe it's your fingertips on the ground. Lots of options. What we're gonna do is feel an extension through the left side body. You're gonna take the left arm forward and then gently reach towards the right side of the room. The left hip, the navel stay facing the mat. Breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, feel some of those sleepy spaces wake up. Option here to turn the ribs towards the ceiling. Breathe in. Breathe out, bring the left hand back to the ground. Using your core, you're gonna step the right foot back. Try not to drag the right foot on the ground. So you're gonna round the back, round the belly, lift the right foot up and step back, high plank. Nice, core engagement. Exhale, lower yourself down. Inhale, lift, low cobra. 
Exhale, release. Downward facing dog. However you choose to get there. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, float the left leg towards the sky. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Coming into low lunge. Again, if you need support between or below the left hand, then use it. If you have a block or a block substitute, you can be on the finger pads, just something that you feel connected through that left arm. And then you're gonna reach the right arm forward and then to the left. Again, keep that right hip turning towards the mat. Same with the navel. Draw in a deep breath across the right rib cage and then option, spin the right ribs towards the sky. Again, just waking up any sort of sleepy space. And then gently lower the right hand down. Again, feeling the core, feeling the back, feeling the shoulders even engage. You're gonna try to step the left foot back without dragging it on the mat. Nice. High plank, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, the right leg towards the sky. Exhale, step the right foot forward, low lunge. Breathe in, breathe out. This time we're gonna take the right arm towards the sky. Low lunge, twist, nice. Drop the left knee to the mat. You're gonna bring the right foot about halfway down the mat and the toes are gonna face the right side of the room. Lift the left knee up. Lift the hips up, so this is like a, a variation of a side plank. Roll onto the knife edge of that left foot. Breathe in. As you exhale, lower your hips. Take your right arm towards the wall behind you. Again, inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower the hips. Take the right arm back. Inhale, lift. And one more time, lower. Hover that left hip. Take the right arm back. Inhale, lift up. Take the right hand back, high plank pose, breathe in, lower through or slide right through a chaturanga. Again, awkward movements, new connections in the body, right? Maybe the timing isn't perfect, but you just try. Inhale, the left leg towards the sky. Step the left foot forward, low lunge. Again, some were familiar, so Get a little sense of comfort here. Low lunge twist, take the left arm towards the sky. Gather the navel, drop the right knee down. You're gonna scoot the left foot back about halfway. Nice, you're gonna lift the right knee up, roll to the knife edge of the left foot, take the left arm towards the sky. Again, a supported side plank here. A little different one though. As you exhale, Lower the hip, take the left hand back. Inhale, up, lift the hips high. Exhale, lower, lift. One more time, lower. Inhale, lift. Left hand down, high plank pose, breathe in. Exhale, lower, lift up, up dog or low cobra, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. On an inhale, float the right leg towards the sky. Exhale, step the right foot forward, low lunge. Inhale, the right arm up. This time, take the right hand down, feel your center. You're gonna hover like a lightning bolt pose. So the back heel is lifted, the arms are back, the right foot pressing through the ground. And then on an inhale, lift up, high lunge. Breathe in, breathe out. So we're gonna gradually build here. Again, feeling the right foot pressing through the ground. You're gonna lift the left leg towards the chest, top of the mat. Big movement. Breathe in, breathe out. Nice. 
Take the left leg back, airplane pose. All right, we're gonna lay ourselves down gently, the left foot to the back of the mat. So we're kind of just reversing the movement. High lunge, come back to that hover, that halfway, that lightning bolt. Feel that right sits bones turn in, bring the left hand to the ground, low lunge twist. Drop the back knee, scoot that right foot, supported Vashisthasana as you lift the hips up, lower the hips down, inhale, lift, right palm down, move through your vinyasa, or go right to a downward facing dog. Come back, breathe in, breathe out. All right, inhale, left leg, Left foot forward, low lunge. Inhale, left arm towards the sky. Left palm down, gather your center. Lift up to this in between, this lightning bolt pose. Stay here for a breath. Again, feel that left sits bones. Tuck in, no cheating. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Breathe in, breathe out. Big movement, left foot roots, inhale. Bring the right knee towards the chest. Breathe in. Exhale, Degasana, airplane pose. Take the right leg back. Maybe the arms are back. Little bend in that left knee. Step the right foot to the back of the mat. Ooh, high lunge. Breathe in. Bring the right hand to the ground. Low lunge twist. Step that left foot about halfway, knife edge, right foot, lower the hips, and then lift. And one more time, lower the hips, take the left hand back and lift up, left hand down, vinyasa, lower through. <laughs> lift the heart, downward facing dog, breathe in, breathe out. Take a moment, let that all settle. Roll the head, a little yes and a little no. On an inhale, float the right leg towards the sky. Tip the hip and bend the knee. Bring the heel towards the glute. Maybe spread the toes, roll the ankle. Find a little more freedom across that right side body. And then inhale, lengthen the right leg. Exhale, draw the knee to the right wrist. Come into half pigeon. If you wanna take this on your spine, figure four. But again, feel yourself lifted. Don't just drop yourself into half pigeon, like half asleep. Like sometimes we enter a pose that feels so familiar, although challenging, but familiar without thinking much about it, just going through the motions, right? Allow yourself to really feel where you are, right? So that, so that you sense your bearings, so that when you are stepping into starting from where you are, that you're sure, a little more sure of something. So feel that left, bang, that left leg, Feel it pressing down, and then the inner left thigh, feel it pull forward, and then feel that right inner thigh pull back. See how that changes your foundation, right? And then notice, maybe you can lift the chest a little higher here. Breathe in, breathe out. Take another full breath in, and then as you exhale, gently begin to soften into the pose. Some of you, again, may prefer to take this on your spine, and that's good and valuable. You might have blocks or even pillows that you wanna put underneath your forearms. That works too. Wherever you are, try to close your eyes and soften the features of the face and just allow yourself to be in this experience. Anything that feels tricky, or sticky, just kind of pull the breath across and around and, and just like a soothing balm to soften in 
the spaces that might feel a little irritating. Gonna begin to lift yourself up. And then you're gonna bring the right hip to the ground and you're gonna turn to the long side of your mat so that you're in a wide-legged seat. So see that your knees are turned towards the ceiling, your toes are turned up. You might not be in a super wide straddle and that's okay. Just beginning to understand the range of motion of the hips where you are. And then sense the sits bones rooting down. And again, keeping a little bend in each knee, nothing is locked, but you are rooted to the ground. Feel the heart and the head lift up. Take a, a giant breath in here. And then exhale, gently begin to walk forward. And you all have a, not, a natural stopping point, so just stop where you stop and know that there's no prize for getting the chest to the ground, right? It just means that today your chest is on the ground. Your heel, the heel of your palms can be right at your groin and that, that works too. That's simply noticing where you are and know that that's okay. And breathe into that space. And then the next. And then inhale, begin to walk your hands back towards the sits bones. Deep breath in. Bring your legs together. Maybe bring your knees towards your chest, hands back to the top of the mat. Make your way back into a downward facing dog. If you feel called to roll through a vinyasa, please, by all means, take it. And then we're gonna inhale the left leg up. Again, option to tip the hip, bend the knee, roll the ankle, spread the toes. And then come back to a three-legged dog. Left knee, left wrist, half pigeon. And again, find that sensation of being exactly here and feeling your way into the beginning of the pose, not just blindly moving through it. So maybe the back toes are curled under, feel that inner right thigh move towards the inner left thigh. Again, rarely spaces of the body that we think of at all, if not to critique, right? So we are, are feeling that strength as the legs isometrically pull together and the heart lifts up. And then as you exhale, mindfully, kindly bring your forearms down, maybe your chest all the way down. And then settle into a steady, even breath. And if you're feeling a little, a little flighty, then maybe focus on the exhale. If you're feeling a little heavy, then the converse is true. You want to focus on the inhale. The breath both grounds and lifts us. You choose what you need in the moment you're in. On an 
inhale again, begin to lift yourself back up. You're gonna roll onto the left hip and come into that wide-legged straddle, facing the right side of the mat. I'm gonna turn just so that I'm facing you. Again, toes towards the ceiling, knees towards the ceiling, sits bones rooted. Inhale, lift up, maybe even reach the arms up this time. And then exhale, walk the hands forward. And then settle where you settle. Observe, maybe this time there's already a shift. Maybe this time you start a little, a little deeper than where you were before. Again. Allow the breath to move freely and deeply and fully into the body. Recognizing that it's just creating opportunity, right, for change, for growth. And each time you practice on your mat, you're just preparing yourself. One of my favorite it might be an Oprah quote, but it's right, luck is where opportunity and preparation meet. Right? So you're you're creating both, right? You just right, you just are bringing your awareness in so that when those lucky moments rise up, you're ready. And here you thought you were just, you thought you were just creating flexibility in the body. And gently walk your hands back toward your sits bones, draw the legs together, Ooh, shake it out a little, and bring a little life back into those legs. Nice. You're gonna bend the right knee. <clears throat> and cross it over the left. You're gonna bring the right heel towards the left hip. This is a variation of Gomukhasana, of cow face pose. If you can bend the bottom knee as well. <clears throat> so we had just found a little expansion in the hips and now we're just, just pulling them in towards midline a little more. So on an inhale, again, lift up and then exhale, fold. And this should feel like a sweet counter pose to where you just were. Nice. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little, a little bend here, a little twist. So you're gonna take your hands towards the right side of your mat so that you can feel a release in the low left quadrant of the back. No big movement here. You don't have to move a lot in this pose. And then gently walk your hands through the center. Lift up kindly. Unwind the legs, shake them out a little bit. And then now the left knee is gonna go on top of the right. Again, you can stay here with the right leg supporting the left leg straight out, or you can bend that right knee, stacking the knees. Again, imagine the hips pulling towards center, lifting up, folding forward. And then gently maybe walking the hands towards the left side of your mat so that that lower right quadrant can release. These forward fold movements from half pigeon to wide legged to here. Again, just a, an acknowledgement of that turning inward of nodding to that, that knowing that maybe we forget we have. And 
And then begin to lift yourself up. Nice. Kindly unwind. You're gonna make your way towards your back on the mat. Plant your feet at least hips distance apart. Arms back, palms up, receptive. An easy bridge pose here. Rooting through the heels, begin to lift the hips, the ribs, and the heart. If you are craving a bigger inversion, if you prefer a full wheel, then go ahead. Whatever pose you feel would serve your afternoon best. Next, inhale, gently lower the spine, vertebra by vertebra. And bring the feet together and let the knees drop open. Supta Baddha Konasana. You can stay here for your final rest. You can bring the knees to touch and take your feet wide for constructive rest. Or full Shavasana. You choose. If you have a few moments to stay in your final rest, please do. There's good work that's done in final rest. If 30 minutes is about all the time you have for the practice on your mat, then know you've done good work too. We'll gently bring our knees towards our chest and make our way to an easy seat. Finding that courage in the spine that courage that is not strict, it is not rigid. That courage that whispers, you got this. Feel that. Palms on the knees, maybe faced up. Again, open, receptive. Together, let's breathe in. And out. And again, inhale. Exhale, palms to heart center. Thank you all for sharing your practice with me this afternoon. I'll be back tomorrow morning at 7.15 for a, a rise and shine flow. Have a great day. Namaste.